Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. May God bless you all, my people. The presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, has expressed his feelings towards the manner in which Fulani people have been stereotyped as criminals, according to him. The former vice president, who was speaking in an interactive session with some high personnel in Oyo State as one of his campaign for his presidential bid, noted that insecurity has been a huge challenge in the country and it has so far called some to label people who are of the Fulanese as one indulging in criminal acts. <laughs> he said he feels hurt because he is a Fulani man and understands how they feel whenever such stereotype comes up, adding that he intends to fight security if elected as president of the country. Speaking further, he said, Nigerians should realize that criminals are hasn't as a result of their race, as there is no religion, race, or ethnicity where they haven't criminals in his ways. We have also pledged to restore security in this country. You don't know how it pains me in my heart when you label criminals as Fulanis, because I am a Fulani man. So, let me tell you, that we will deal with criminals decisively in whatever parts of this country they are from. Though these have got Nigerians talking, but let's take it again. The presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, has expressed his feelings towards the manner in which Fulani people have been stereotyped as criminals. The former vice president, who was speaking in an interactive session with some high personnel in Oyo State as one of his campaigns for his presidential bid, noted that insecurity has been a huge challenge in the country and are so far called some to label people who are of the Fulanese as one indulging in criminal acts. He said he feels hurt because he is a Fulani man and understands how they feel whenever such stereotype comes up, adding that he intends to fight security if elected as president of the country. Speaking further, he said Nigerians should realize that criminals are present as a result of their race, as there is no religion, no race or ethnicity where there is where the hasn't criminals in his ways, and I quote, we have also pledged to restore security in the country. You don't know how it pains me in my heart when you label criminals as Fulanese, because I am a Fulani man. So let me tell you that we will deal with criminals decisively in whatever part of this country they are from, he said. See, the way he's even talking about it shows that he, by tomorrow, he becomes the president of Nigeria. He's still going to pamper these people because to him, they are laboring Fulanese criminals, which they are not. We see this Fulani husband killing people. So... The PDP presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar, is still going to deny that fact. The Fulani headers, the criminals among them, are not going to people's homes, people's farmlands to kill them. Is it, is it denying that fact? The bandits, who are bandits, are they not the same Fulani people? Or what is he trying to say? With these statements, you can now understand how is he going to perform, just like what his brother is doing to them. People are just, you know, saying all these things against Fulanese for nothing. For how long will this continue? You see the reason why these people are not being persecuted? 
because their people are backing them. This is the reason why they are not persecuted. Good and fine. No tribe without criminal elements. But the problem with some of some of some of you in the north is that you you tend to to shade your criminal elements for political gains. That is the truth. We are not denying the fact that criminals are not in all the region in this country. Every region have criminals. But in northerners, because of their political, because of their political game, they find it difficult to condemn these people. If you can recall what he did when some uh, estimates killed uh, Deborah Yakubo, saying that he said something about Prophet Muhammad or whatsoever. When he condemned the killing, they questioned him. Immediately he brought it down. So what are you talking about? These people will not stop. Atiku Abubakar cannot stop the Fulani killings. If you cannot also remember what he said in Benue, when he said the, the, the Benue state governor is just profiling a, a, a Fulanese, as killers, we they are not. So these people, they are still denying the fact that these Fulani heads men who are killing people, they are killers. To them, people are just saying this just to paint them blue and black and yellow and, and, and yellow and whatever. This person you are not saying is going to fight insecurity. The same not in us. Uh, we have um Ahmed Gumi is there telling Northerners not to vote for candidates who will fight bandits. These people are the problem we are facing. They are just dragging us back, honestly speaking. So guys, let's hear your thoughts on this news. Can you share your thoughts?